I don't know if filmmaking is in my genes. I don't know whether it's uh, something that I discovered on the way. But I did always have the inner sense of aesthetics to want to do something with literature and theater and music right from my childhood. My mother being a painter herself. And uh, well, I guess as you know, I've had most of my maternal uncles as very well-known filmmakers. Gurudath being one of them and Sham Benegal as well. But it's Sham Benegal who molded my thinking from a very young age. Uh, rather, I would say he has been very responsible in molding my sense of aesthetics. And when I completed my schooling and I was in the middle of college and I was very, very keen on joining the National School of Drama because I was very fond of dramatics and acting personally. It's Sham who kind of gave me the feel that maybe I would want to reach out to a wider audience and the media for that would be cinema rather than theatre. And I joined him as an assistant on a meagre salary of 350 rupees a month uh, right at the age of 19 and I've been working at it ever since. So I don't know if it's genetic but I would say it's environmental because uh, so many of my mother's family have been actively working in cinema and she herself being a professional painter, they encouraged me in joining the medium. So I guess that has been responsible. Do you like the tag of a woman director? I wouldn't be, I'm not going to be so emphatic about I don't like the tag. I don't like the use of that tag, woman filmmaker, for two reasons. I personally think in any other field or any other industry, when people of either sex are working, it's really the, the result of the work is what they are judged by. I don't think it's their sex by which they are judged by or the cap, you know, you understand what I'm trying to say. I probably it's only even today when you're sitting in an airplane that if you get to know it's a woman flyer that everybody still undergoes a twinge. So I think that discrimination will always be there. I don't think that I, I would feel very happy as a filmmaker to be discriminated by my sex and then if I give a wonderful piece of work then I then someone says oh you know Kalpana did it despite being a woman so somewhere it's derogatory I feel I should be judged as an asexual creature when I'm in my field of work probably I can understand the tag of woman filmmaker in terms of approach to a subject that's exactly why I'm trying to tell you I don't want to decry that term woman filmmaker. It's just that I have noticed the world over films made by women tend to have a far more sensitive approach to a subject than I would say if that same subject would have been dealt by a male. But in terms of work output, in terms of working in a field actively, I would like to be termed as equal as my male counterpart. Mm. Uh, what is it to be a woman director in India? Is it a plus or a minus? It's tough. But let me put it this way. I wouldn't want to say, you know, I was very different in, uh, I would have been very different in answering this question to you eight years ago when I made my first film Ekpal. But uh, though I have matured in my work, and though I have matured in terms of age since the past eight years, I would say uh, Vijay, I'll call you Vijay. You don't have to say that. No. Well, I would say that uh, it's been more difficult for me the older I'm growing in this field as a woman. My first experience in Ekpal was of maybe because I was very young and everybody around me was so enthusiastic in wanting to give this young girl a chance of proving herself. So I had a whole host of friends who backed me up. Shabana Azmi was one of them, was one of the main people, I would say, who really backed me up in a very big way. In fact, I must admit, if it wasn't for her encouragement, I wouldn't even have had the courage to go out and look for finance and write my script and make that film. And I'm also very grateful because I was completely new. So backing up a completely new person in, in a field of art of this magnitude, uh, I would give credit to her because the film could have also failed miserably. I could have also failed miserably. But the fact that she tapped my potential, I am very grateful to her. 
but that is not what I have understood as I have carried on in my, in my work in the later years. Maybe being a woman and also from a rather protected independent home, I find it very uh, restraining and constraining to go out uh, with the same panache and aplomb let us say a man can in approaching for finance, in even approaching my male actors and talking to them. I do have that reserve, maybe it is the way I have been brought up, you know, or maybe it is my generation, I do not know. So, I find those factors curtailing as a woman, but uh, I would 